Hey everyone, Rick here. And I've just been moving into my new house, which includes a new game room. So I thought I would show you how that's looking. Moving all my board games over has been very interesting. I still haven't moved over many of my miniatures or terrain and stuff like that, but I got several IKEA shelving units. The whole basement is going to be basically the game room. Still waiting on a lot of stuff. It's definitely not done yet, but let's take a look and see what we have got going on so far. These are the new, newish Calyx units from IKEA. I have five of the 4x4s and five of the 2x4s that I've stuck on top. And so I really wasn't sure if the shelves that I picked up would fit all of my board games, but yes, they have. So this is basically every single board game that I own I still have to bring over the majority of my collectible card games, Magic the Gathering and stuff like that. Still wondering where I'm going to store all that stuff. I was just so thrilled. I had all the board games just laid out here on the floor. There's still a few odds and ends over there like the Ogre Designer's Edition. Not sure where I'm going to stick that one yet. But yeah, it took me I, it, two sittings to put together all the shelves, and then I started stocking them last night, and then I kind of took a break, and then came back today and finished it up. I thought when I was originally um, deciding on how many shelves to get, I knew they'd be the IKEA shelves. just wasn't sure how many, but then um, I did some research, and as some of you may know, Tom Vassell of the Dice Tower has um, similar IKEA shelves in his game room. So I looked at how many board games he owned, and he has three of the 4x4s and three of the 2x4s stacked on top. So that's where I got that idea from. He has three of those kind of setups, and um, then I looked at the number of board games I had and said, okay, well, I'll get a couple more, so I ended up with five of these um, setups here. Now, I don't think I'm going to leave all my Crow's Master Arena stuff just kind of piled in there like that. Like I'll probably take all the figures out of the packages and store them a different way. Same with all of this Dungeons and Dragons attack wing stuff. All the figures are just kind of stuck in there, piled back there. I'll probably take them out and store them differently so that'll free up a few more cubes because I'm obviously going to want to get some more board games. I haven't bought one in over a month and it's killing me. Same kind of thing with the Arcadia Quest stuff. So like, this whole cube up there, just with those figures in it, I can free up some space by moving those around. And not everything, as you see it, is going to be its final location. Um, there's a lot, of, I want I want all the board games who that are uh, uh, vertically positioned to face to the right, like a book on a bookshelf. So some of these are facing left, so I'm going to go through there and make sure that all of them are facing right. I started to make sure I was facing them right about a quarter of the way after already having started to put them on the shelves. And then also um, try to group things together like all of this is role-playing game material for the most part and a little bit more down there in magazine game board games with fold out maps and pieces and stuff and then games that just could not fit in the cubes 
have gone across the top. And that worked out really nice. And like I was mentioning about themes, I tried to put some of my war games together. I just have so many fantasy themed games that it was tough to stick them all together and then there's just kind of oddly placed games. I tried to do like sci-fi together down there and then over here because eventually I'll have a nice uh, board game table from boardgametables.com there and so I wanted this shelf because if I ever took video reviews or whatnot you know like I do unboxings probably will be on this table with this as the backdrop so I wanted to make sure I had this looking good but still a lot of tinkering I just really wanted to get all the games off the floor and onto the shelves so now I can start the rearranging process and then what's next for the rest of the room well a lot of posters to put up I as you may know from prior videos I have a lot of miniature display cases so I'll have my glass cubes there and like a table with some miniature display cases on it there and one long kinda like game store counter display case will go there I even have some grid wall um, where like blister packs of miniatures are hanging on it still in their packages so I'm gonna put that there on the wall and like I said there will be a table here and then over here in the utility room right now there are some things in here it's mainly just all of my miniature building authority stuff from that last Kickstarter project where I made that large castle layout so that's here. This was just a few board games. Several loads of these totes involved were involved in um, my moving. I had 16 of those 18 gallon totes and I filled them all up and I don't know how many trips I made. Like 10 trips with those completely full of games. Eight, I should say eight totes per trip because it was just one SUV. I couldn't fit all six, all 16 of them. But yeah, so event and finally got them all up here, laid them out, put the shelves together, and then now they're all on the shelves. So that is great. Just gonna get my miniatures, uh, display cases, terrain, furniture, posters, so we can start decorating this place. And I think it's going to look pretty good down here. So thank you for watching. And as always, until next time.